Memories of My Childhood Part 1 by Zitkala Sa. The cutting of my long hair narrates the experience of her first day at school, which is a residential establishment. It is winter when she first joins the school. On her very first day, the bell rang loudly for breakfast and there was a constant clamor of noises around her. She found the noises annoying and her soul craved to be free, but it was all in vain. The blanket she wore was stripped down off her, and she was made to join a line of girls going to the dining room. A pale-faced woman followed the line. The girls were made to wear stiff shoes and tight dresses. The smaller girls wore sleeved aprons and had shingled hair. The narrator felt that the girls were immodestly dressed, but they did not care about it at all. As they entered the dining room, three boys entered through an opposite door. The narrator observed that a small bell was tapped, and the three boys drew chairs from under the dining table. The narrator imitated them only to find out that the rest were still standing. She started to rise when a second bell rang, and everyone else took out their chairs from under the table. As they sat at the table, the narrator turned to look at a man who was talking. However, when she felt the gaze of a pale-faced woman upon her, she lowered her eyes. Everyone at the table hung their heads over their plates at the table. A third bell rang, and everyone picked up their knives and forks to eat. The narrator felt like crying but did not dare to. To make matters worse, the narrator's friend Judwin informed her about a plan to cut their long, heavy hair. The narrator's mother had taught her that only unskilled warriors whom the enemy captured were subjected to their hair shingles by the enemy. In the narrator's culture, short hair was worn by mourners and shingled hair by cowards. The narrator rebelled when Judwin told her they would have to submit to having haircuts as the people running the school were strong. The narrator escaped from the room when no one was looking and entered a room with three beds in it. She hid under a bed. She shuddered with fear whenever she heard footsteps nearby. Everyone, including her friend, Judwin, was looking for her. Finally, when she was found under the bed, the narrator remembers being dragged out despite her vehement resistance. She was carried downstairs and tied securely to a chair. She cried until she felt the scissors cutting one of her thick braids. She lost her spirit after that. The narrator recalls facing numerous indignities after being taken away from her mother. She cried for her mother as her hair was cut, but no one listened to her as she was similar to one of the many little animals driven by a herder. Conclusion of Memories of Childhood Summary of Memories of Childhood demonstrates how discrimination can scar people's minds when exposed to it at a very early age. It robs the opportunity to have a happy childhood for children from marginalized communities. We can see how Zitkala Sa faced gender discrimination on her first day at her school during breakfast when the boys were permitted to sit down first. She experienced a bigger kind of discrimination racial when regardless of her cultural values, her hair was cut by the school authorities. This act was a direct attack on her identity and cultural values. For more update, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.